Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do another colour pencil drawing for you. Um, this morning I went down the street and I managed to get myself a complete set of the polychromos because I had so much fun <laughs> doing the pictures yesterday that um, I thought, you know what, I really want some more colours and my wonderful friend at the art shop did me a great deal. So I ended up getting the set. <laughs> so that was a bit exciting. So now I've come home to do this picture of a red kite. So it's a lovely little bird um, and I've just drawn the outline with my mechanical pencil and I've gone in with a yellow and a bit of a grey on the tip of the beak and now I'm going in to his little head with a cool grey, just a light grey to run around his little face and pop a bit of shadow with a slightly darker tone of grey on his neck, under his neck and then around his eye, a little bit darker again and I take that around the trim of his feathers on his neck and now I'm going in with an ochre onto his wings and I'll take that right around pretty much his whole body everywhere that he's got his ready brown colour. So on the tip of that wing, run it across and take it under his belly and towards his tail. I'll go over this in a few different layers. So I'm strengthening at the edges of his tail. And now I'm going in with a warm yellow. And I'm taking that over the top again of all of that ochre that I had before. So it's just a slightly warm yellow. And I'll take that very lightly onto his wing and I'll build that up over layers. And now I'm popping his spots on because he's got dark brown spots. So I've got a dark brown pencil and I'm putting his spots everywhere that he's got spots on his feathers. So I just continue on building up these spots and then I get a darker brown and I take that onto the next row of feathers and I just rough those in and then I build up a little bit of more, a bit more colour over the top again with the same dark brown and then I do that onto the opposite wing. So now I've got a black because the very tips of his main five wings, uh, f five feathers at the top are very black. So I've ran the, the black over the tips of those feathers. And then I run a grey around the feathers at the rear of his wings. And then I build those up again with the same grey. Just adding a bit of variation to the tone. And then I take that onto the other wing again and do exactly the same thing. And just fill that in. And then a lighter grey for the top feathers. And now I'm burnishing or running over with a bit of white. So this is a, uh, the, I use my polychromos for everything else, but I've used my Prismacolor white pencil for this because on one of the YouTube channels, it was recommended that Prismacolor had a more opaque white. So I got an opaque white. So now I'm running around with the dark brown. He had stripes on his wing feathers. So I've added those in and I'm popping some final details around those, around his wings. Just a few more details and I'm building up a little bit of colour onto his wings. And now I'm going back in with a deeper orange just onto his belly and his shadowy bits. Now I'm going back in with the white, just touch up here and there. Now I do some trim around these feathers with the black again, pop a bit more detail in. Take that down his tail. So pop a little bit more detail in his eye. And now I'm going over 
with some solvent because my friend that had the shop that I got the pencils from explained to me how solvent smooths things out. So I got some solvent and I'm now running that over the whole bird and it definitely makes it look much smoother and lovely. So I've had so much fun drawing this picture for you today, guys. Um, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and I'll see you all for my next video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Okie doke. Have a great day. Bye.